The key to finishing a project car is to touch the thing every weekend. And every time you touch it, knock a little bit off your list, and eventually the thing's gonna get done. My goal with this car is to get it on the road by January 1st. That'll give us a few months to shake it down before Hot Rod Power Tour next June. This is the car I wanna take to Power Tour. I've got some other cool stuff I could take, but this really is, I think would be a cool conversation piece. It'd be a fun, something a little bit different versus all the other hot rides you see on the trip. So hopefully we can get this thing shaken down enough to where I trust it enough to drive that thousand miles. So current goal is every single Saturday to get a couple items off of this punch list. That should get us to where we need to be. For those of you who haven't been following along, playlist up here, this is a 1986 Shelby Dodge Daytona. Let's jump into it. Probably should have safety glasses on to protect my retinas, but I don't. What's your guys' least favorite job during a build? To me, I have two things I hate doing. One is changing dirt bike tires, and the other is prepping gasket surfaces. This is, this is just not exciting for me. I'm sorry if you love prepping gasket surfaces. I'm, I'm sorry to disagree with you, but I hate it. Man, these scrapers work great. I used razor blades and really big flat tip screwdrivers and all kinds of crap over the years to do this. Spend the 20 bucks and get the carbide scrapers. That would be my advice to any young aspiring gasket preppers. All right, a couple things I did to prepare our rubber seals. I did a little quarter inch bead of RTV where it's gonna meet the, the pan on the edges and then I ran some grease through them just to help them seal up. On the oil pan side, we had a little bit of sludge in the bottom so we cleaned it out. Not a lot of sludge, just a normal amount. It's just a slight film. Um, the gaskets for this car, for like everything on this engine, are made out of cork. I don't know why. So I'm not a big fan of cork gaskets. I don't love them. In fact, I don't even like them. They seem to saturate and then seep. So we're going to go with, uh, as Vice Grip would call it, room temperature vulcanization cream. And we've got our nice bead ran all the way around the gasket. So up she goes. Let's start a bolt in the hardest one to get my fingers on. That's what we're gonna do. That's a great plan. Oh no. Did I not bring my ratchet? I don't think I brought my ratchet in there. Awesome. I didn't, I see it over there looking at me. My arms are getting massively tired. You know what I would love to have? One of those, uh, one of those, those things are sweet. But this is the Mopar garage and we are under equipped for what we do. You know, I'd rather have not enough good tools and build cool stuff than have all kinds of, we all know the guy who has the best tools in the world and doesn't wrench on anything, you know? I'd rather be me with crap tools and uh, actually build sweet turbocharged Shelby's. Uh, why, is it that hard to line up? Can you just line up? All right, that inspection cover was a bit of a battle because I had mangled it getting it off. So, but she's on there. Um, weird, I don't know, the bolts for the motor mount, the one on the top side of the motor mount in the front is way too short. This one's a little too short, but I think it'll work. This one's way too long. They look factory, but I think what I'm gonna do is get about a half inch longer bolts for the front motor mount, um, change those out, and then I'll use one of these 
back here because you can see this one's way too long. If you try to use this one in the front, it bottoms out. But here, it, it screwed all the way through, but it's way too long. So we'll probably change to this back here and then we'll get two new bolts. It's, it's strange because like I said, they look factory, but they're just not right. So anyway, imagine that something not right with this car. Oil pan, check. This thing's always had kind of a funky issue where the oil pressure does all kinds of weird stuff. The gauge just isn't right. So I got both these sensors. If I remember right, I think this one is for the light, um, which I don't have any issues with the light. And that's a good thing because the sensor I got to replace this one was the wrong thread pitch. So I think we're just gonna reuse what we've got. I'm gonna reseal these threads and use this one um, or drop it and lose it forever. Uh, this guy, I believe, is for the gauge. So that's the one we're having issues with. That gauge is all kinds of funky. So um, we're gonna reseal the threads, put the old oil pressure light sensor back in, and hopefully I've got a new, I've got a new uh, oil pressure gauge sensor. And hopefully threads are correct on it. We'll see. similar hopefully this is our oil pressure gauge issue I don't think it's an actual oil pressure issue because it's so erratic there it is beautiful okay got the right thread pitch on that one Hopefully that does the trick and hopefully it's not some kind of wiring issue. That would suck. All right, now let's put some thread sealant on the oil pressure light sensor. It is getting hot in this garage, guy. I like the heat, but I don't know. I would like, I would prefer an air conditioned garage. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm just gonna level with you. Put a little dielectric grease on this connection because it's not great. But oil pressure lights seem to be working fine. So we'll leave that. We've got our oil pressure sensor, oil pressure gauge sensor installed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know why I put a question mark over, over this. Definitely needed to do the oil pan gasket. Uh, wanted to get to the transmission strut mount today, which is this guy back here. Wanted to get to that, but I don't have time. We're out of time. I got a couple of those mounts um hopefully these bolts come off Oof. maybe you know what i'll do i think i'll set it in this used oil all right we got our strut mount for the transmission soaking in oil for next time hopefully that nut does come off after soaking for a week uh while the while the head is off the car i want to get to that strut mount i want to get to the power steering pump because once the head is back on Anything from here back really stinks to work on, on this car. And then once those are done, I'll get either a buddy or a cherry picker and we'll get the head on the car so that the motor will be 100% complete. I didn't get as much done today in the garage as I wanted to, but like I said, one or two things on the punch list every weekend. I wanna keep the content coming out regularly. And hey, that's what we got done this weekend. So hopefully next weekend we'll have more time. Appreciate you guys watching and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for the monetization. We're over the thousand subscribers. We've got an Instagram for you to follow. I'll link that in the description or put it down here or something. Uh, if you guys can follow that, you get a little bit of behind the scenes footage. So 
pretty cool. Thumbs up the video. Thank you so much for following along. We will see you guys on the next one.